Hello, and today we're going to review a game called Suspend. And we're going to see how we think about it. So let's get gaming. Horn Quest. It's time for Horn Quest. So this game is by Melissa and Doug and it's called Suspend and it's good for one to four players. Um, it's recommended ages eight plus, it does have a lot of metal, um, you could trip and poke out an eye so Ooh. definitely definitely better for slightly older children but it uh, looks like it's pretty good for testing your skills at balance, working as fine motor skills so we're going to give it a go and then we'll see what we think about it. Yay! <laughs> So there are three different versions of the game. There's a beginner, intermediate, and expert. Uh, we're going to do the beginner game where basically you get one of each color. Um, so you've got orange is the longest, and then they uh, get progressively smaller. And you have to put them on this little thing that I'm going to construct here. And it's whoever gets rid of their pieces the first is the winner. Now there are harder versions of the game where you use this dice and I think you roll it and see which color you land on and you have to place that piece. All right, so we're all set up and Jennifer is gonna go first. But I barely can reach up there. I'm just gonna have this. The first one is easy. Is a very good listener at learning how to balance things and uh, looks like you have to know when to kind of let go. So I'm going to balance this one out and put this here. Ooh. Ooh. Good luck. And as they get smaller, you get I'm fewer and fewer notches on them. Now, when I said that you're only allowed to have one piece in there, if you put another one, say you balanced it here, and then at later time it like slid down, that's okay. It has to be after you let go. See, she knocked one off, so she has to take that one back. <gasps> Mummy wins! <laughs> Mummy wins! But you can carry on, see yes. who gets second and third. Mm. Where should I try and put this? There's just too many, too hard to decide. There's <laughs> too many up there. Mm. Now it's Jennifer's turn. If she can hang this one, she's going to be second. Gently does it. Two for a second! Yay! Well, we're going to get this put up and then we'll see. We'll come up with um, how we enjoy this game. So we'll be right back. Well, I think that was a pretty fun game. What a... How much would you review it for funness? Mm. Out of ten. I don't know. You go first. I would probably give it. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's hard to decide. Nine. Get a nine Ooh, out of ten. Nine. I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, 8 what? and a half. 8 and a half. So our average is 8 and a half out of 10. That's pretty fun. Um, it, good value for money. You can get this on Amazon. Not 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 expensive. And it does teach some good skills and uh, 
good principles of balance and um, center points and all that kind of good stuff pivoting so good good for teaching children those kind of things so it's a good game